it's like, oh, turn into some like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get real weird now. <laughs> <laughs> Look who I have with me. I have well, Dakota. Hello. Hi there. This is Dakota. Yeah, so we met on YouTube, through YouTube. She was going through weight loss journey and filming it on her channel, and I was doing the same thing. So it was like a friendship made in heaven. Totally. Yeah. Totally. And, and our personalities just sort of clicked. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was pretty much like an instant friendship. Yeah. Um, we actually just met in person this past like September or October when I was in town for work. Something like that. I definitely got sunburnt. Hello, whiteness. Hello, girl. <laughs> Get a little burnt burnt. Um, so we just finished hiking. It was Kirby, what? Kirby Cove. Kirby yeah. Cove in San Francisco. We were talking and uh, a lot of, it's so funny. I've, I've gone through so many changes, you know, over in the past few years and Dakota as well has gone through I'm sure many changes yes and uh, even from when we first met when we were both kind of like on a similar journey uh, a lot has changed since then so do you want to like talk about that a for bit? sure I started my weight loss journey really motivated and I did really well I lost about a little over a hundred pounds within a year um, and I was really proud of myself. I still am really proud of myself. Like it was a really big accomplishment and I worked so hard and I put my all into it and I inspired a lot of people and it was really fun, you know, I had a good time. Then I hit this point where I could not maintain what I was doing. I just, I couldn't keep it up and um, I had this pressure of an online following of people wanting me to continue and looking to me for inspiration. And I was like, I, I can't let these people down. I can't let myself down, which was a terrible way to look at it because in reality, stopping would have saved me a lot of health issues. Um, I ended up developing an eating disorder and um, Man, she got rough for a while. I, I rotted out my teeth. Um, I got stomach ulcers. Things just got really rough. And I, I eventually, it took months of suffering, but um, I overcame that. And through talking with my therapist and my psychiatrist, um, all of them said, you know, weight loss, that goal, it's not for you. I'm like, you know, I think you guys got the doctorates. <laughs> so, you know, I, I let it fall by the wayside and I, let, I got a little sedentary for a while there. I got depressed thinking, oh, I'm gonna get fat. And I did get fat and you know what? Here I am, it shit's fine. <laughs> I'm still active. I, I hike all the time. I'm learning to skateboard very terribly. Um, <laughs> I do yoga, I, I'm still a vegan, that's not really a health choice, it's just, I like Imanos, I like the Imanos. <laughs> we were talking about this earlier, you know, and you kind of touched on it a little bit, like, I said, you know, healthy comes in all different sizes, and right. Dakota agreed with that, but you also had, like, Another something point. to add on right. to it. You know what? Work out, lose weight if you want to lose weight. Be healthy. Love yourself no matter what. Love yourself now. Love yourself then. Love yourself if you gain the weight back. Love yourself if you lose the weight again. It doesn't matter. You just gotta love. Just love. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. And the important thing is, is that if you are trying to decide if you should go on a weight loss journey or if you think that you're able to do it or whatever, whatever your reason is for watching my channel, Make sure that the reason that you are going to do this is for yourself and not for anybody else. Like it has to be for you. It's not because you want to look a certain way for people. Like that's not it at all. You know, like it's what you want. It's your body. That's your decision. Don't let anybody else influence that because just like you were saying, you, you, you had a following, you felt pressured and it like got to you, you know, like then it becomes like, am I doing this for myself now? Or am I doing this for other people? Right. So that's what you always have to stay centered in that. Right. If, if you're not happy, something's not right. Right. 
Uh, and what's that thing you always say? Taking, taking the power <laughs> into your own hands or something like that? Yeah, you hold the power in your hands? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. it. Nice yeah. one. Nice one. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, I think that's all that we really wanted to spiel about. And we also wanted to keep it kind of short. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the hiking footage. And yeah, remember guys, you hold the power in your hands to make any changes in your life that you want to make. I'm going to put Dakota's Instagram and social media stuff down below. You can go and check that out. And uh, yeah, bye guys. We both blow kisses. Aha. It is officially the end of week two of my weight loss journey restart, uh, which means it's time for a weekly weigh-in video and time for us to check in with each other because in the last video, I asked you guys if you were doing this with me to comment down below in the comments, letting me know how you're doing and what your progress was for the past week and whatnot so we can just keep each other motivated. So don't forget to comment and let me know how you guys are doing. Last week when I weighed myself, I weighed 179 pounds even, and one week later, fast forward to today, I weigh 178 pounds even. So that's down one whole pound in a week, which is great. Um, some people think that that is a small loss, and I just want to assure you guys that that is not a small loss. Even if I was down two ounces, I would be happy. As long as there is some type of consistency happening, I am happy with that. So a pound, I will take it. I am super excited about that.